Hi everybody, this is Joel from InsuranceAdjusterTraining.net. Today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a custom spiral staircase. First step is to go up and use the custom staircase tool and bring it down. You're going to want to plant this and resize it. You want your staircase to be twice the length of what the width of the staircase is. So if we have a five foot wide staircase, we want to do five foot plus the two walls, so it'd be 10 foot eight. We're now going to resize this to the width of our stair, in this case five foot. Once you have that, we're going to collapse the upper and lower vertexes on the right hand side to 45 degree angles. Once we've created 45 degree angles on those two sides, we're going to resize our stairs down to what the stair width is. Currently we're at seven foot four and we need this to be five foot. So we're going to click on the left wall and resize this by dragging it to the right. Don't forget you can click in the dimensions block and resize it to the exact measurements you need. The next step is to actually go into the wall properties and change the wall to arced. Once you've changed the wall to arc, you're going to click on the wall I'm going to slide this over just a hair so we have a little extra working room. And then we're going to pull this wall out to twice the width of what our stair is. We want a five foot wide stair. We need to go at least 10 feet. This gives us room to work. The next step is going to be click in the middle of the room and get your handles. We're going to grab the upper right vertex and we're going to rotate it around until we hit a 90 degree angle down in the gap. Once I have the 90 degree angle, we can proceed to the next step. Now don't worry about the red lines, we're going to take care of those. But notice that our center point is not in the mid center of the stairs. So we're going to use a reference line to get the exact distance. I'm going to come down to the center of the st stairs that we have currently where the pivot is, and we're going to measure up the same distance that we have on the stair, which is five foot one. And we need to add an extra inch or two inches to it. In this case, we're gonna add an extra two inches. We're gonna to go to five two. Once we have that, we're gonna resize this staircase down to that line. Now our staircase has the same distances all the way around. Next step is gonna go in and make angled treads. Once we've done the angle treads, we're going to zoom in. Don't worry about the red. When you zoom in, you're going to notice a large set of crosshairs. This is the angle tread tool. Once you move it, you're going to see your angles start to appear. The goal is to move it out of the room and then move it back right up into the crook where the 90 degree angle meets. Once you've done that, then you can go in and set your properties. So I'm going to click on the properties icon for the stair. Then we're going to go in and we're going to set our riser height, our total rise, and the number of risers for the staircase. We're going to make the total rise on this staircase 12 feet. We're going to change the number of risers to 20. That's also going to change the riser height. Once you've completed that, go down and look at it in 3D, and you'll notice you've created a nice spiral staircase. Now I'm going to click back out of 3D, and I'm going to remove the wall. We're going to make this a floating staircase. You're going to go into the wall type. You're going to change it from full to missing end to end. This so will we'll remove the wall all the way around the staircase and create a floating staircase. This is how you draw a spiral staircase in Sketch. Just remember the steps and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching and check back with us soon for other videos.